Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some fairly pleasant conditions across the region this morning, other than some slightly breezy winds out of the northwest. We had a cold front move through the region earlier this morning, giving us those northwesterly winds today. We slightly breezy from time to time today, uh, dying down once we move into the late afternoon, the evening hours. But overall, looks like a good day across the region, other than slightly breezy winds. I should see those winds below wind advisory criteria and uh, no chance of precipitation or lightning for today. So our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 9,500 feet. Winds are strong in the low levels, around 30 knots out of the north between 1 and 3,000 feet. And then uh, decreasing as we move up between 6 and 12,000 feet, around 20 knots. And then increasing up above that and becoming more southwesterly and peaking at 63 knots of the southwest 25,000 feet this morning. Current surface analysis, high pressure building in from the west. That's going to be the case for today and setting up a nice day to end out the work week. So looking at our satellite imagery this morning, you can see we have some clouds off the coast associated with that cold front. Mostly sunny skies across our region currently and looking at the herd model for today. Into tomorrow, you can see we do have uh, good conditions once the move in the afternoon hours and in general throughout the remainder of the day today. Friday, mostly sunny skies, light winds, good conditions. And then Saturday, we'll see a cold front move through the region during the morning hours, possibly giving us a brief sprinkle, but overall not expecting much in the way of precipitation to see it. And moving to our Sunday, high pressure in control, slightly cooler air mass moving in on Sunday. If we see a mild day on Saturday, uh, continued a uh, little bit cooler conditions than we have been having on Monday. And then Tuesday, atmosphere starts to moderate moderate into Wednesday as large high pressure builds off the coast, giving us good conditions for the extended time period. So looking at our wrist chart today, high of 73 today, low tonight of 43, uh, northwesterly, north northwesterly winds, 10 to 15 knots, gets to 23 knots. Later this morning in the afternoon hours and then slowly dying off during the late afternoon and the evening hours, at slight chance we see a wind advisory at winds at or greater than 25 knots. I most likely won't see that though. For our 24-hour terminal forecast, uh, going to see VFR conditions in the next 24 hours. Uh, good conditions as far as our sky coverage goes and clear skies by tomorrow morning. We'll have some light winds as well, so good radiational cooling night tonight. Our tides are currently running around normal. And looking at Friday and Saturday, Friday mostly sunny and pleasant, high of 65. Friday night, partly to mostly cloudy, very slight chance of a shower with that cold front moving through a low 54. For Saturday, mostly cloudy with a very slight chance of a shower early, becoming mostly sunny, slightly breezy with a high around 72 degrees. So for the next seven days, only seeing a 15% chance of rainfall for Friday night and Saturday, otherwise dry, and continuing uh, to see those dry conditions across the region. Uh, so with the temperatures taking a little bit of a roller coaster, uh, warmer today, a little bit cooler on Friday, back to being mild on Saturday, and then cooler conditions slightly below average for Sunday and Monday, and then above to near average for Tuesday and Wednesday with that high building off the coast. But looks like for the extended time period uh, into latter portion of next week, uh, mild conditions, dry conditions. So continue to see a bit of drought across the region that will uh, continue through at least uh, the middle of next week. That's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning at 15, 10 a.m.